हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ कंबाइंड ट्रांसफर्स एंड पैरल फिलेट वेंट्स एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज यर वी हैव अ डायग्राम इन दिस डायग्राम देर आर टू प्लेट्स विच आर अटैच टू वन अनदर इन रेड दिस इज द वेल्डेड जॉइंट प्लेट्स आर जॉइंट बाय यूजिंग वेल्ड्स नाउ आफ्टर जॉइनिंग देम दे आर सब्जेक्टेड टू लोड as shown in the figure here the load is parallel or i can say first of all this load p is perpendicular to this weld so this would be called as the transverse fillet weld so here i have one transverse fillet weld next load p is parallel to these two welds which are called as parallel fillet weld so in this problem we have one transverse fillet weld and two parallel fillet weld so i'll write down here we have one transverse fillet weld and two parallel fillet welds now after this i'll say that let l1 be the length of transverse fillet weld l2 be the length of parallel fillet weld next sigma t permissible tensile stress tau permissible shear stress then let s equal to plate thickness your length will be in mm even thickness will be in mm stresses would be in terms of newton per mm square and t let it be called as throat thickness so here after defining each of the terms here next i'll say that i'll draw a diagram and explain it this is the diagram of the weld here which i have shown in red this weld if we look at it it will look something like this this is the enlarged portion and this extra portion after completing this triangle which i'll call it as triangle abc this extra part is called as reinforcement so here we are providing some reinforcement to this triangle abc which is the weld to increase its strength or load carrying capacity now when we look at this triangle and if i draw a perpendicular to this hypotenuse ac this perpendicular let it meet at point m so now this bm would be called as throat thickness and this throat thickness is the minimum thickness which we will get in any weld so here i'll say that this is also equal to the minimum thickness next if i see in this triangle i'll separate this triangle amb draw it in an enlarged view here we have triangle amb this angle is 
45 degree this AB is nothing but the thickness of the plate which is denoted by S thickness of plate and even here at the base this is S now AB indicates the thickness of plate BM indicates throat thickness it is denoted by T I have already defined it so this is T so in this triangle I'll say that since in triangle AMB sine 45 degree will be equal to opposite that is BM upon hypotenuse that is AB so this will be T upon S so therefore T will be equal to S sin 45 now therefore T is equal to sin 45 is 0 0.707 S so this is the equation which I am getting for the throat thickness and throat thickness is the minimum thickness and after getting this throat thickness we can get the minimum area for any kind of weld like for example here we have transverse weld we can get its area here we have parallel fillet weld we can get the area throat thickness will remain same throughout only changes would be in the length of weld here for transverse fillet weld we will call it as L1 for parallel fillet weld we will call it as L2 so here I will say that after writing this therefore minimum area for transverse fillet weld that minimum area A will be equal to T into L1 because failure will always start at the minimum area throat thickness gives us the minimum thickness and this thickness will be continued up to the entire length so for transverse fillet weld the length is L1 so area is T into L1 so therefore A will be equal to 0.707 S into L1 this is the area for transverse fillet weld next therefore strength or load carrying capacity of transverse fillet weld that load carrying capacity I'll denote it by P1 and this will be equal to area multiplied by tensile stress because the transverse weld it is subjected to perpendicular load so here this weld would be pulled it would be subjected to tension that is why we have tensile stress here so therefore P1 will be area is 0 0.707 into S into L1 into sigma T I will keep this as equation number 1 so now after getting equation number 1 which is the load carrying capacity of transverse fillet weld similarly I will calculate area and the value of load for parallel fillet weld I will say that after this similarly minimum area for parallel fillet weld now this minimum area will be A is equal to here we are having two parallel fillet weld as can be seen in the diagram here we have two parallel fillet welds so area is 2 multiplied by T into L2 is the length of parallel fillet weld so this is 2 into 0.707 S multiplied by L2 so therefore area will be 1.414 into S into L2 
so this is the minimum area for parallel fill, uh, parallel fillet weld and failure will always take place at this minimum area so therefore strength or load carrying capacity of parallel fillet weld this strength will be denoted by p2 and it will be equal to area multiplied by shear stress as we can see in this diagram when the load is applied parallel fillet weld are subjected to shear because they will go along with the load transverse fillet weld was perpendicular to load parallel fillet welds they are parallel so therefore P2 will be area is 1.414 into S multiplied by L2 into tau. So I'll keep this as equation number second. Now in equation one we were getting strength of transverse fillet weld. In equation two we are getting the strength of parallel fillet weld. When I add both the values I will get the total load in other words this total load is shared by transverse and parallel fillet weld so i'll say that therefore total load is given by p is equal to p1 plus p2 i'll write the values p1 it was 0.707 s into l1 multiplied by sigma t plus p2 was 1.414 s into l2 multiplied by tau so here this is equation number 3 from equation 3 total load carrying capacity of both transverse and parallel fillet welds can be calculated. So in equation 3 from this we can calculate the total load carrying capacity for transverse and parallel fillet weld and suppose if we know the value of total load then we can design we can find out how much should be the length of each of the welds. So this equation gives us the designing part of welded joint. So as we have seen in this video here we have derived the strength for transverse fillet weld which was single transverse fillet weld and parallel fillet weld which was double added both of them to get the final equation of load carrying capacity for this joint.